Have you ever known or heard of somebody who has struggled with addiction or other life controlling problems? For many of us, at least one person may come to mind. And finding help for them can be hard, but that's why Teen Challenge was started. Today, I'll be talking about what Teen Challenge is, the history of Teen Challenge, and how people have been affected by Teen Challenge. First, I will talk about what Teen Challenge is. It's a growing organization that helps people with life controlling problems through a Christian based curriculum. Every day, the residents go to a church service and take Christian faith based classes. So as they're getting help with their problem, they're also um, growing in their faith. They help with drug and alcohol addiction or anger and anxiety or just anything that um, would make it hard for you to be a functional member of society. They help both boys and girls, but they are split into different facilities. And they help any age, but they usually start at about age 18 and move up from there, and they don't really have an age limit. Each program is about 12 to 18 months long, just depending on where you're at and what your circumstances are. Once you've graduated from the program, they don't just throw you back out into the world. They do make sure that you are associated with a church in your hometown so that you don't fall back onto the same track that you came in on. In a 2013 article found on the Teen Challenge of Arkansas website, it states that residents of the program donate hundreds of hours to helping their community. For example, if a woman was disabled and couldn't do simple housework, the teens would go in and help her do that housework. And it's a really great opportunity because without this program, they may not have wanted to give back or had the resources to give back. Uh, Teen Challenge gets their money through ECFA, which stands for Evangelical Council for Financial Accountability, and they just give to Christian-based organizations like this one. Um, in a recent article found on the ECFA website, I found that Teen Challenge receives about $925,000 in donations, and that money is coming from local churches and anybody who wants to give. All of the money that's donated goes directly to a facility of your choice, and it is used for whatever the facility needs, like repairments, bedding, uh, clothes, and food, too. The overall goal of Teen Challenge is to provide people with an effective Christian faith-based solution to life-controlling problems in order to become productive members of society. So next I will tell you the history of Teen Challenge. It was started in 1958 by David Wilkerson, and Wilkerson was a pastor in Pennsylvania who was tired of hearing about the crime and alcohol and drug addictions that was going on in the teen, teen life of New York. So he picked up and moved to New York and started the first Teen Challenge program. It was so successful that it's now all around the United States and they have about 200 facilities. Lastly, I will tell you how people have been affected by Teen Challenge. Many people have gone through the program and have donated. In a recent letter with my cousin Jesse Brooks, who is a resident at Teen Challenge of Arkansas, says that he really likes it and that he can really see a difference in whenever he first came and that others can see that difference too. In a recent interview with Sarah Nyworth, who gives to uh, the Teen Challenge of Arkansas facility, says that it's really great that she can see where her money is going and that they are in need of her donations. This is just a picture of um, some of the residents at the Arkansas location. So in summary today, I told you what Teen Challenge is, the history behind the program, and how people have been affected by Teen Challenge. I hope that I have helped you to better understand what Teen Challenge is and all that it has to offer. Thank you.